Hey guys, what's up? And today I will be showing you how to Photoshop with Photo Soldier 7. Now, first you go to the 2016 yearbook because you can't Photoshop without the program. Open it up to the middle and right and download everything in here. And once you do that, you and to do that you must go like this and drag it and then make sure everything's blue and click download it will go to your downloads folder right here and I advise you to put it onto your desktop so that will be easier and you open it up or you have to extract it either one and take everything out put it onto another folder named Photoshop filter 7 or whatnot and yeah you have to extract it or else if you open up the program which is right here um, it'll be French so yeah you have you want to open it up it'll go like this now to fo Photoshop something you actually have to get a photo and to do that you must download it from whatever thing you use if you want to go into your drive download it there right click so yeah save image as will go to your downloads folder right here I advise you put it onto your desktop again so I'll be easier now you can either do it two ways you can click it, um, drag, drag it into here or file open and then open it that way now the first thing you have to do is take out this polygon tool right here in the selection tool and you gotta start somewhere on the body I like to do it in the edges just so that um, it's not very hard to mess up you, want, you might want to zoom in if it's like harder because it's hard it, it's harder to um do it while well, like this as you miss um key details but yeah since this is just the basics I'm gonna go fast so yeah you wanna go outside his body and continue clicking it's better to do more clicks than less clicks as more clicks will give you with less clicks gives you um, a more rigid body more uh, tendency to have um, blockier shapes while clicking more more means um, it's more flowing so yeah you go around the body and here's always the trickiest part so our ears round stuff so yeah I like to take it easy here lots of clicking as you can hear Um, I advise you to get a higher quality picture um, it's gonna be very easy with the new can with the new cannons that we have because they take really nice photos this right here on the other hand is like really pixelated it's only 970 by 545 which is really low compared to um, our standards my standards and uh, generally they make it much harder to photoshop as it's going to be more pixelated so yeah you just cut around and once you're at the edge you'll see this thing make sure to right click copy paste that new image you want um, you want to have the checkered background and if, you, if that happens you'll know that you're good that means it's going to be transparent if you don't have a checkered background as say something like this it's not going to be transparent and you can't see anything underneath it and yeah you want it to be transparent so that you can put stuff underneath it like what I did in the first page of the yearbook so now you have this thing what you if you're done with it file save as save it as a new picture it's going to be a PNG make sure you save as a PNG like so don't put it into a JPEG, VMP or anything of the sort because you're g it's going to be not transparent. Ho however, if you don't need it to be transparent, I would uh, advise you save it to, as a JPEG as it's a higher quality than the PNG. Now, as you see, we still have green spots here. So yeah, you just take those out as well. 
as you can see here with more, less pixels I have the more blockier the um, the polygon tool is gonna be so yeah it's always bad but still it comes out to be pretty good as I finish it up just clear this and yeah here we go we got this if you want to add some text there's a text tool right here change the size and yeah so this tool this tool right here it manages the layers so you can change around stuff like this and you can use it but um, if you need to copy and paste you would use this tool so yeah just play around with it and if you need any help just ask me but anyways yeah that's about it also if you have a white backdrop like it's gonna be it's really easy to um, make not make it into a white backdrop so here's the first thing you do the magic wand tool it will select anything of the same color something like this now you select the white color invert your selection so, so that it can copy that copy paste it and yeah you can also use it like this clear hide clear and yeah it makes your job really simple if it has like a green backdrop or a white backdrop or the sky and whatnot but I don't recommend you use it because sometimes it like it's like really weird as if you if you do something like this yeah so I don't recommend you do it as it's sometimes weird and buggy so yeah this is just a basic video thanks for watching guys